Hi guys, welcome back for another art video. Today we're going to do an art. We're going to do art inspired by a famous artist called Ted Harrison. Ted Harrison did very colorful art using lines and color. So we're going to copy this one. We're going to use this one as our um, example, but I want to show you some of the other art that he created. Ted Harrison. You can look him up on Google and see his beautiful art. He uses line and he fills each section with a different color. So um, we're going to use this art. Can you see it? You'll need a paintbrush, a cup of water, oil pastels, or a candle, or a crayon, watercolors, and some drawing paper. Okay? All right, so I'm going to choose a light gray crayon pastel, and we are going for this art today. So we're, the point is to um, draw with the crayon those lines in waves, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a line across the paper. So it can be a wavy line across the paper like that. Okay, pause it a second. Okay, so the next thing we're going to draw is the sun. So we'll do a circle in the middle, top half of the page, and we're going to do some circles around the sun. One, and then another one. If you can't get the circle all the way, you just go until you can. And then we're going to do one last one. So three circles around the sun. And now on the side, we have some random wavy lines that we can do the sky and on the other side we can do them as well okay now for this area here we're going to do some more lines so let's do a mountain so mountains will look like that right and then we can do another mountain so now we've got two mountains so for each mountain we're going to do like more lines similar mountains but smaller and here we're going to do similar mountains smaller and then here we're going to do more wavy lines. Oops. Okay. So it doesn't really matter exactly how you do your lines as long as you're getting those different shapes and patterns. Okay. Now we're ready for the painting part of it. So I'll bring my water here and my open my watercolors. Now the deal with this is that every part of your painting is going to be one color. We're just going to change the, the lightness and darkness of it. So let's start with the sun. I'll make the sun yellow. Now I hope you all have your own set of watercolors at home because watercolors is my absolute favorite way to paint, if you haven't noticed yet. It's very clean, very neat, and very colorful, very effective. So I'm trying to get the brightest yellow that I can here to make the sun look nice and bright. But it's not very bright. I don't know why. It's adding more and more color to get the brightest possible the brightest possible amount of color in here. Hmm. So that's as bright as I got here. Now after the sun, we're gonna go for light pink. Okay, so I'm gonna get the lightest pink. And I'm gonna do that light pink. And then I'm gonna go the next level up. Actually, I'm gonna do this a little bit darker as well. This is not dark enough. Now, I think I use different paint for that painting, actually, because the color is much stronger there. Could we use a different type of watercolor? Now, another type of watercolor, you can do that. But I'm gonna go stick with this type of watercolor because this is the easiest, cleanest, most available and cheapest watercolors that you'll get. bright colors it's not really giving me such bright colors here but the point is that I want to go a little bit darker so maybe I'll just go to the red there we go getting a little bit darker you can you can just do... okay and now I've got one more circle that has to be even dark pink I don't really know how I can get darker pink so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'm going to mix the red and the pink to get as dark pink as I can. It looks just a little bit darker. 
There we go. Okay, so it sort of looks shaded. It's called grading. So you see how this is a little light, a little darker, a little darker. And now we're going to have two gradings here and two gradings here. So on this side we'll do purple, and this side we'll do blue. The problem is I only have one shade of purple here. Oh, no, I have two actually, so let's try that. See how we do it. So I've got the light purple at the bottom. And we'll go a little bit darker, so let's get more paint on it. Oh, there we go. Now the next one we'll do is this one. A bit darker. And now we'll go to the... Oh, we'll still need two more, two more different ones. And a bit darker. And now see if we can get even darker. I don't know how we're going to get it darker, but... And it's sort of the same. Maybe if we put a bit of black in it, we'll get darker. Yeah, we can do that. Put a bit of black and it gets darker. There we go. All right, let's try that with a blue. So the bottom one, oh, that's pretty dark. I want it to be lighter than that. Light blue. It's not very light here. Get a bit more darkness here. Now I'm going to add some of this, whatever this color is, let's darker, so you have a dark blue. And now let's get even darker. Now, I'm not using a tablecloth right here, but my table's getting dirty. Um, I'm not too worried because it's watercolor, so it'll easily come off. Okay. Can you see that? I don't want to lift it up, it might drip. Okay, that's that. Now we're going to do like the water, so we'll get some turquoise. You know, like, let's pause it. I wanna... Okay, so these are also watercolors, but they're a little more fancy, complicated, and the color is way richer. So let's see, if I take um, this blue, squeeze some here on my palette. Oh, it still comes out. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna do any white and add a white. Mm. Alright, let me see if I can get this. So I'm gonna start with this dark. I'll start with a lighter one. We have I'll start with mm. I'll start with the darkest. So I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I think this is the see how much more vibrant this color is? And you just add water and it gets lighter and lighter. See, so you've got that blue. Now I'm gonna make take it here and make it lighter. So I'm gonna make this darker. Let's see if I can get this even darker. And lighter, and then I wanna go even lighter. And even lighter. Oh, I need water. So the more water I put, the lighter the color gets, if you see what I mean. Oh, that was supposed to be a mountain. No, it wasn't. And then here. All right, so we have two mountains. We're going to do one brown and one, I guess, pink. So let's see, we've got some brown here. Burnt Sienna. Ooh. These are a little old and they very... Okay. Here we go. Burnt Sienna. Let's get some Burnt Sienna here. And now we're going to go lighter. See what I did? I just put my paintbrush. Now I'm going to go even lighter. That's even possible. And then just keep... You know what, friends? If you can't change the the, 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 the lightness of it, just do it all the same color. You know, because changing the, the value of the color is, can be tricky. But as long as you have those lines, it sort of breaks it up. Okay. Now, I'm not doing pink because I just did pink. I'm going to choose another color. It's going to be... Hmm. It's going to be orange. I haven't done any orange. Actually, it's going to be green. I'm going to do green mountain. So let's get the green nice and dark at the top. And 
Maybe a bit more water. Nice and dark because you want to go lighter after this, right? Get some more water now. Oh my. Keep going. Now I feel like. See what I'm doing? I'm just really. This doesn't feel dark enough, but it does. Not sure. And that's it. So now that I have my other watercolors out, I'm going to top up, touch up the top of this painting and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, okay? Okay guys, so I'm finished. I've used my watercolors to brighten these colors, to brighten the, these sides. I think they're a little brighter and a bit better. What do you think? Do you think it was better before or now? Either way, I'm done. I love it. It's so colorful. And, um, yeah, you can hang it up. And I would love to see if you make art inspired by Ted Harrison inspired art. So if you do, send me a WhatsApp, a picture, something, a message. I want to see it. And enjoy. Until next time, have fun. Bye.